In this video, we will talk about the layer 2 mobility conductor redundancy. And the mobility conductor is uh, the device that we will use to manage mobility controllers. Now, um, as you can see here, these mobility controllers established a PAPI tunnel to the master or to the primary mobility conductor. And there is a VRRP keep alive. There's an IPSec tunnel where within the uh, database synchronization securely happens. If the primary conductor goes down, then the standby or the, um, the backup conductor will be taking over. There will be a virtual IP address in between them and there will be a keep alive messages that will move away from the um, failing or the failed mobility uh, conductor into the one that is standby. Now what happens here, the standby becomes master or becomes active and the active uh, is now not available. Uh, so to achieve this, we will um, form or will uh, configure the VRRP. Secondly, we'll talk about layer two redundancy. Uh, that would be configured both of these would be configured on both the primary and the standby and the um, we will also configure database sync uh, between the primary and standby what i'm going to do actually i'm going to use the gui interface to establish um, the command so it's easier for you to understand but also i will refer you to the command line how they look like inside the command line and we will uh, perform some verification in the command line let's have a look so we will log into the first one, which is the basically the primary um, login with the credentials. Now, after you log in, um, you are on the mobility conductor itself. Click on that. You go to redundancy. Then we are in a virtual routing table. So you need to um, add the ID. It doesn't matter. Can be one. Can be up to two fifty five. Um, then this is the active one or the primary, say primary. The password is um, whatever you choose. And the IP address should be in the same VLAN on the same, so 10.254.1. In this case, this one is 203. I would like to configure this one as 103. And that would be the same IP on the standby. Because that's going to be the active, we're going to increase priority. I would like to enable preemption. And also at the same time, I would like to give time for the database to synchronize before it takes over. We'll say it's 60 seconds. And now we need to bring it up. So that's up. And the VLAN is 254, already being pre-configured. We're not going to do tracker or anything else. So we're going to do submit now. Now we have not yet pushed um, any changes so we can look at the command line if need be and the command line should show us what hey, we have configured here we can clearly see the command line it shows you this icon it means there are some config that is pending and if i issue the command um, show configuration pending it will tell you what we have now you can clearly see all these are the configuration we performed in the gui now I can do this encrypt disable and we should be able to see the password in this case. So our one, two, three, then that's what we have done. We could just write mem here, which means we have saved it. So this is saving the configuration. You don't have to apply binding changes. It's already been done and that has been configured. We will perform um, nearly identical configuration on the other um, mobility uh, conductor so we are on this mobility conductor again we go to redundancy and we go to layer 2 redundancy and again this need to match one has to be the same we're going to say stand uh, stand by the same password r123 again r123 and ip address the same must be identical dot 103 the same one we've done there we leave prior to as is we don't enable, don't worry about this and bring it up. And the VLAN is 254. We submit. In this case, we're going to do it from here. And there we go. So now we've done this configuration on both of these uh, mobility conductors. We should be able to see one is backup, one is master. So from the command line, 
we can say show VRRP this is master and the other one show VRRP this is backup it means at this stage everything has worked from VRRP perspective so in the previous step we configured the VRRP on both of them and now we will uh, we looked at that and one of them was uh, um, primary and the other one it was standby um, master and backup now we will configure layer 2 redundancy in this step so we're still here and, and at redundancy we can see that we can configure this is what we've done and then we will leave this we'll go to layer 2 redundancy conductor redundancy now here the VRP master um, the master VRP which is number 1 and the PIP physical IP of the peer dot one dot two two three that's the ip of the pair and we will configure this one as uh, aruba one two three aruba one two three of course real life you need to change that password so now we configure this on the conductor primary one we will submit and again as we as we're gonna do we'll bring uh, the uh, the command line we we'll look at that that's a command line and uh, we're gonna go show config pending you can see these are the configs that we have issued here and remember the encrypt disable we can see the password here the symbol hash so we will perform the same on the other one now we go to the other uh, mobility conductor uh, and we're going to save it from here this time so i'm going to save it and then we are going to other mobility conductor here we'll do the same click on that mobility conductor remember we are at the mobility conductor level and we go redundancy again we will configure that this is one here we're talking about the other peer 254.1.203 that's the ip address of the other conductor and again the same applies here and there we go so we're gonna save it and we will verify the redundancy there to redundancy in here we can issue the command uh, so here basically done and on this one we're gonna issue the command show show conductor redundancy we can see this is the backup that's correct state and if we go back to the primary here show conductor redundancy and you can see this is the master you, the old form of this command is to show but it will not auto complete it for you so you have to do it uh, it's still there actually but you have to do it manually right there's no so mass it doesn't really auto complete it for you okay so there we go now the stage number two is finished in um, the um, mobility conductor redundancy configuration so we've done the first two steps we've done the vrrp we've done layer two redundancy now we are doing the config um, of the database sync we will do the database synchronization only on the uh, primary conductor in this case so we are at the primary conductor now where do we do this you have to be in the mm level and then we'll verify this and this is when you instruct the conductor that's primary to synchronize the database how often that will happen let's say 20 minutes now it means 20 minutes that every 20 minutes they will check but any change happens it will be triggered automatically and dynamically and immediately to be pushed into the other mobility or the other the standby yeah so here we can see that if we go to the command line and you can see this is now showing here now if you issue the command show config bending you will not see anything the reason for this because we have made the change at the mm level so we need to go to mm in this case and issue the same command we're going to see that this database synchronization command has been issued in here 
So we're going to write mem or we can just apply settings and that will be applicable. And you can see now there's no need to do anything because that is being pushed. So it, in, at this point of time, we should be able to see an IP sick tunnel formed between the mobility conductor that's primary and the mobility conductor that's standby. We can have a look at that from the command line. So let's have a look. We issue the command show switches. If everything has worked, we should see both of them. When you looked into them in the mobility conductor, that is the primary, and we can see there's an IP sick tunnel between them. We can issue the command show crypto IP sick SA security association. You can see clearly that the initiator is the uh, in this case the this one and the responder is this one then the SPI the N is here is out there the out here is in there so we can look into that if you would like to so we can see show crypto IPsec uh, SA and you can notice the N here was out on the other side notice that's the out here and the out here CD double zero is the N in here yeah CD double zero, yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, so that's why it is, and basically, um, you can see the um, standby and the active, and that's the standby, and we can see on the standby. If you issue the command show um, switches, you should only see yourself. You only see yourself because you are a backup. You are standby. Now here, we can see that you are active and you are able to see two switches in this case. Let's assume that we create a VLAN. So here, let's see, see the my node. We go back to the my node, okay? Or we can do CDMM. And let's create a VLAN. So a VLAN that we can create here, it should be reflected on the other um, mobility uh, conductor. We can clearly see this. So let's go and uh, create a VLAN in here. Let's say go to a managed network and in the interfaces in the VLAN, you can see there are no VLANs apart from VLAN one. We come here when we say VLAN say guest name and that VLAN guest, um, give it an, um, a value 100 just for the sake of confirmation. Now we create a VLAN, that's VLAN 100, and we're going to push this one, okay? Now this VLAN 100 should be reflected in the standby. So you come to the standby, you come here, and um, you can look at the interfaces, look at the VLANs, that VLAN 100 has been created. Straight away, as you can clearly see, and uh, you can issue the command show layer 2 or show database um, sync it tells you that um, little bit synchronization layer 2 time standby not synchronized since last reboot that's fine and layer 2 synchronize uh, every 20 minutes but the VLAN exists on both of these uh, mobility conductors so CD MN and uh, manage network CD my note and uh, again because the fact that we have these two mobility conductors they are standby we can see they are um, synchronized and that's uh, basically it um, we showed you how to configure the redundancy and now we could see that there is um, an uh, ipsec tunnel between them thank you very much